Hello and welcome to another Minute Vim Tricks video. I'm Chuck and I'm going to be taking over uh, the channel for now uh, because John doesn't have the time to make videos at the moment. So uh, today I'm going to be teaching you a basic Vim feature and that's how to use uh, Vim Windows. Uh, and windows are basically splits in the screen that allow you to view the same buffer in different places or multiple bu buffers at the same time. And this can actually be pretty useful, um, especially since it's a feature that many other editors don't have. So um, it's really cool. Anyway, uh, let's get started. So the first thing um, we're going to do is just figure out how to create a split period um, and how to create a separate window period. So what we have to do is uh, the most basic way to do that is just colon split uh, and that's the built-in vim split command uh, which will split the window in two spots and we can scroll through this and see that it is separated from the bottom. Uh, now it's not useful unless we can actually navigate to that bottom um, uh, that bottom uh, split anyway. So the way you do that is you uh, hit Control W, which is the window command. Um, and bear that in mind because this will kind of be like our leader key for Windows for the rest of the tutorial. Um, by default, this is this is the default key binding. Uh, so it's Control W and then J will navigate you to the nearest window below, and Control W K will navigate you to the nearest window above. So um, and H and L will navigate you to splits to the right and left once we create those. So let's just create one. V split. Um, it's like split, but with V in front for vertical. So vertical split, and this will split the window in half. So now Control W L will move, navigate you to that window, and Control W H will navigate you back to the right window, like so. Um, so these, th it's kind of awkward to create uh, splits like this. So what's the key? What's the default key binding for this? Um, and that is Control W S to split, um, and Control W V to do a vertical split. So let's close these out. And and you can see I can close them by hitting uh, colon Q. So if I have this split, um, I can also open up whatever file I want. So I have a make file in this directory. So let's open that. Um, and like before, you can just navigate between them, split, and um, open whatever other whatever other files you want. So to close Windows, all you have to do is colon Q, as stated before. So uh, it's really not that bad to uh, create them. What about uh, formatting our Windows, so to speak, so we can scale them and uh, position them? So uh, Let's just open another file here, uh, and we'll let's say I want to make this main code file, uh, this main code window bigger because it has more content than the make file. So uh, to do that, I would just hit Control W, and I would say Shift Plus. And I have to do that again. Control W, Shift um, Plus, and this takes forever. So. We, we the easier way to do it is just to throw a number in front. So if we want to make it five uh, five uh, lines larger, we say Control W five plus, and that makes our uh, screen five characters larger. We can also uh, likewise make it smaller by hitting Control W minus, um, and we can put numbers in front of that as well. So Control W ten minus would make it ten character uh, ten lines smaller. All right, um, and if you have a vertical split, it's uh, the greater than and less than sign to make it smaller or bigger, which is, it's actually counterintuitive because this key press would be control W greater than, which actually makes it um, wider out to the left, but uh, the greater than sign looks like it's pointing to the right. So um, it's just great, think of it as greater than, less than, rather than left and right. Um, one other thing we can do is set the window width to an absolute number. So let's say I want to set the window width to 80 characters. Um, whoops. Equals 80. Uh, in which case, we can't make it, um, when we switch between windows, uh, it will, they'll, they'll all be 80 characters large when we switch to them. Um, even if we have uh, our window split. And this can actually be pretty nice because um, 
it 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 forces all the other windows out of the way um, it makes seeing content a little bit easier it can get a little bit annoying though and if that if it does you can um, set one width equals one in which case it will go back to the default functionality uh, so say we have all our windows here they're all the wrong sizes um, and we want to just make them all the same size again you just hit control W equals and it will reformat um, rescale everything so that they're all equal equally sized so if I want to uh, swap out the top two, um, swap them with each other, swap the top two splits with each other, I would just say Control W R, Control W R, and that would swap them back and forth. Likewise uh, with the bottom. And if I want to make a window take up a larger portion of the screen, so for example, say I want this window uh, to make up the left half of the screen, I can say Control W Shift H, and that will make it. Um, take it'll it, Vim will figure out the a layout for it and position it along whatever direction um, you say. So Control W Shift L is the right side. Control W Shift H is the left side. Uh, Shift K is the top and Shift J is the bottom. Um, and we can swap these if we say Control W X uh, and so on and so forth. So. Um, the layout can be a little bit finicky and odd sometimes, but um, you, if you, it, basically most of the time you end up just splitting things and scaling them around and maximizing them as well, uh, which I will show you now. So I have my I have four windows up, and I want to just focus on this window that I'm currently in. I hit Control W underscore, and that will maximize the top, and I hit Control W bar, which will maximize to the right. And this will make this window full screen with the other windows only one character wide. And Quindle W equals will bring everything back and uh, fit everything so that it's the about equal size, um, depending on what lay layout you have. Uh, the other thing you can do is if you have a bunch of other windows open and you really only want one and want to cl would close the others, you could just go around and hit Control Q. Uh, sorry, colon Q for everything, but that would take forever. So you can just hit Control W O. That will close everything and maximize um, whatever window you currently have open. Um, so before you, uh, I, I end this tutorial, I'm just going to show you one um, usability tweak that will make working with Windows a little bit easier. And in my VimRC file, um, I have, uh, is it this one? No, it's my other one. Um, I have a keyboard bind that will make working with multiple Windows a little bit easier. So I've just mapped control. Um, in whatever direction to control WJ. So now I can just hit control J, control K, um, control H and L to swap between windows and it makes navigating between them a lot faster. Um, you could even map like control V and if you didn't if you don't use visual blocks, which I don't think anybody does, um, you could map uh, map control V and uh, control uh, S, which doesn't do anything by default, I don't think. To um, to split your windows, which would make working with windows even faster. Um, but if not, th this this tweak I find extremely useful. Um, lots of other people have used it too, so uh, it, it's it's pretty helpful. So that's it. Um, I hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments uh, uh, what you thought of this video. Um, if you want to see any specific features. Uh, of Vim in any future episodes and uh, thank you very much for watching